ladies. This is New England Nails and New England Nails Jr. Coming to you today with a Born Pretty Store um, review slash tutorial. And today I'm going to be doing some more water decals. And this is from the water decal set BP11. And... Um, Okay, phew, I thought I lost my piece. Mm -hmm. And this is the look that I'm going to be doing today. Water decals and some, I guess not really clusters, but rhinestone and pearl mm -hmm. accents. And also using some t OPI tints, top coat tints. Um, we got some minis to try and from Amazon, and that's what I'm going to be using. So let's get the tutorial started. Um, I do want to mention that we do have a 10% off coupon code for site-wide on bornprettystore.com, and they have some marvelous water decals, which I love. And um, I have to say, they come off very easy and clean. All you need is some nail polish remover, a cotton ball. I did one cotton ball, took off all of my owl water decals from my previous video, and it came off so clean. I mean, look at that. I mean, no mess, no nothing. So um, let's get started. Um, I'll insert pictures of what the full sheet looked like before I cut them up and used them just so you can see. Um, but we're going to be working on my pointer finger here. And this is the decal that I want to put on there. So I'm just got a bowl of water here. We're going to throw that in there and find my tweezers. While that's floating around in there, I'm also using some out the door top coat as well. And let me get a paper towel. And we're going to be using a rhinestone pearl mixture that we also got from Born Pretty Store. Which is all shown right com as here. well. Which Look at is that. this array of goodness right here. And in particular, we used these pink stones, some clear stones. Um, but you also get some really nifty, like, shapes. You get the cat eye shapes there, the little ovals, which is gorgeous. Mm. Um, you get the, uh, like, candy, rock candy cut stones here. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> he um, wanted to come for the ride. Yeah. You get some pearl, heart pearls, and Those some little cute. mini pearls, and some rectangles, and mini bows, and pear shapes. I mean, just, you get all that in one little assortment. I'm pretty sure everyone is different, too. So if you ordered, like, two, I, I think they would all be different. Absolutely, which is the fun of yeah. it, too. I love that. It's like a little grab bag. That's why I wanted to get it. So after we took this out of the water, and I put it on a paper towel to get the excess off, I'm going to... Good, my tweezers are not very... You want my tweezers? Tweezery. Oh. Mm. Um, Mine are probably not the best either. Well, that's okay. I can just slide it off with my fingers. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to place it Eek. There we go. Perfect. We have placement. Yay. Dun dun dun. And now since I've this is my second water decal tutorial. And today I just realized something really cool. My nail was totally dry. There was no top coat on there. I just, you know, did the water thing, slid it off, and I'm conforming it to my my nail, pressing it down, making sure all the corners are are no down, air no air bubbles to, you know, or water under there. Right, because as I'm not sure if 
new subscribers know or not, but I do work in an office. I'm on the computer at work. I'm on the computer at home, and I don't want my design to go anywhere like halfway through the week because I honestly don't have time to do a new design. So what I learned today is take any top coat of your choice. Even though this, this you've got parts hanging down, don't worry about that right now. We're going to slather on some top coat here. I'm going to do the edges, go over the tip. Go, and I, these would be really nice for natural nails. Instant design, I mean, and the drying time would only be as long as the top coat of your choice lasts. Um, I have not tried this with hard gel as a top coat. All I've used so far is the out the door, so I would imagine you might be able to use it with hard gel, but I don't want to say for sure because I've not tried it myself. So I'm running out of breath. Woo! Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit because this it won't take long to dry. And what I have found is after you, because I used to be very impatient, and after I put the decal on, I would try and, and clean up the edges. But if you take your time, you put the, the um, top coat on, and then just let it sit for a little bit. Take the edges of your tweezers and kind of start pressing down and like cutting through the plastic. Oh, I don't even know if it's plastic. I'm not, the material, the decal. And look at that, it just pulls away like magic. The, the part that you don't want, it just pulls away. And I would imagine that if you can pull it off neatly enough, you could probably use whatever you have left over for like, you know, an accent on another nail, which, you know, I or really your should. tip, your tip on another finger. I mean, you know, even just these alone look pretty. Just it, the black and white. They do. They're very elegant. Mm. See that? It just pulled right away. And then you can just, you know, do your little cleanup there. Now, also what I did notice is that when you fold it over, go around the edges just one more time. If you have, if your nails are longer like this and you can see underneath it to where you do fold it over for application, just go under it with some clear and just make sure you get that all sealed in. because my owls that I had on lasted, probably would have lasted another week, but I really wanted to try these. So, <laughs> so there you have it. And the, with the complimentary water decal, I mean, I probably could have used these on the other nails, but honestly, if I was smart, I would just top coat all this stuff and leave it be. <laughs> but you all know that I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna save these for another design because this is elegant and, you know, I just, very springy. So maybe I'll save those for, you know, another time. But I, I love that. And, like I said, I can't leave well enough alone. I'm going to try using some, I'd already put these on, so I'm going to work on these right now with some tinting. Well, let me see if I can get the name if you people like it. Uh, this one is Amber... Embarrassed, like embarrassed, but embarrassed. Wow. Okay, am I, <laughs> am I good? Can people yep. see? Okay. So I'm going to start just by putting this on. Just random at this point. I mean, it's, this is not like rocket science because it's so sheer. You, it's just depositing a, obviously, sheer tint of color. Um, and I'm going to try this one is like the bluish color. The... I can tell you like me. And I'm going to just put that like in the middle here. Oh, I love that blue. But you know what? We're not going to leave it blue. Oh. We're going to back go back over it with the yellow just a, a little bit to like marry the blue and the yellow together. See how you get a green hue Yeah, there? these colors are great for these blending. Are, these are very blendable colors too. I don't know if I showed you on this channel, but when I did my Avengers nails, uh, I actually did mix the tints, and they are very awesome. 
And Very awesome to work with. We'll top it off with the pinky color. So that's so pretty. And I'll do the other one. Oh, and that pink was Be Magenta With Me, and the last one is Don't Violet Me Down. Okay, so let's start with purple. And as I said before, you can leave it just plain, like on my pointer finger. You don't need to embellish, but I just, I really wanted to give these tints a try, so I thought I would. And They're so fun. They are. Put some pink down here. And let's just... Sorry about the lights, Whoop. everybody. Central Florida, we're in hurricane season. Not, we're not having a hurricane, I'm just saying. It is hurricane <laughs> season. And last but not least, I want to put the yellow here. Because I love celestial things. So that's why I did my hardest to get this sun motif at my cuticle area because I just ugh, I love that and even just the yellow like that looks pretty cool yeah just the moon colored in the sun colored in I meant the moon area of the nail I'm getting all fancy with my terminology I know right <laughs> And of course, you could also fairy dust it or, oh, let me see that, um, that SE so I can. Hold on. Yep. Hold on. Got the piece, an idea. The piece de resistance, which I'll show on this one because this finger is not dry enough to use it on. If Caitlin can get a in close up shot right here on this part of my nail, I used a dry brush um, technique of this SE Lux Effect, and it's called as gold as it gets. That's a good dude for Chenna Glee's Golden Enchantment. <gasps> Bingo. I forget where we got this. Did we get this at Walmart? I think Walgreens. I think I got that at Walgreens. Yeah. So. Walgreens or CVS. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to put. Let me see. It might be tacky enough. Because you all know I'm impatient. They also make a white one of that, too. I don't know what okay, that as one's you called. can see here I'm taking off most of the polish I'm just gonna barely touch it here and then just like drag it down that's so pretty so there's a little bit of sparkle and since I am not really <laughs> good at this cluster business like here and making those because I'm too regimented. I want it to be all lined up in a row and blah blah blah. I'm going to hold the camera while Caitlin finishes off my design. I can't see. Is this, am I even in focus? Uh, oh, this is going to be a little difficult. Hmm. Okay. Caitlin's going to do me some clusters. I love my clusters. And she's going to use a combination of these, the assortment from the Born Pretty store. Again, we will put the links and all the information for these um, in the description box. Oh, no. Am I? I can't even. Oh, that guy wanted to be backwards. Well, no, he's fine. Not having that. <laughs> I'm so busy watching Caitlin. I'm. Well, I can't. Oh no. We'll get that guy. Yeah. Let's 
grab another girl. Oh no! That little guy won't fit. No, that because in the middle you we've only got three rows of three. It's my thumb that's the fatty. Oh. <laughs> Ah, you should have left it alone. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you leave things, when you mess with things you shouldn't touch. Yeah. I got a fix. My initial reaction is to fix. I can't leave it alone. Oh, we've got some stickage to the dotting tool. Oh no! Roll it. Try rolling it off. Oh, that was that was can very you, traumatic. Can you push that next to where it needs yeah. to be <laughs> before it dries? Okay. Oh, I think you're dry because we've got the fan on. I forgot we had the fan on. I don't want Mr. Mustache. No! No! Okay. Now if you want to, can you maybe push them more into the middle yeah. of the nail? If you can, they may be dry already. Dead, Mr. Brickstone. Okay. That, yeah, now just go around the, the the sides. The sides and the front. That one pink rhinestone is giving me such a hard time. If you get it on my skin, that's fine. I'll just take the acetone and I'm sure if we had out. a wax pencil or something it would be a lot easier than what I okay. just did. Okay. And now the thumb. Would it be easier if I put my thumb on something? Mm, yeah, let's, let's give that a go. Here. Maybe I should have chosen a different taco. Now don't forget, this one has four. four. Three rows of four. And again, don't forget, there's that 10% off site-wide, Born Pretty. I have not ever been disappointed with anything that I've received from there. Ah, uh, you should have left it alone. I know. I didn't that like black it. pearl is not sitting flat, just so you know. I didn't like the placement of it. Well, you got to do one more on the other side. Whoa, got that one. Okay. Ooh. That was dramatic. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like in editing I should put the Jeopardy music. <laughs> no, we'll probably get blocked for that. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny, too. You're good. Just slide it on. Oh, no. Just kidding. 
I'm a little tired. Oh, no, you, you are not playing fair. <laughs> he does not play well with others. Ah, uh, too much slide. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Okay, now just scooch them all together there, that last row. There. Yay! All right, ladies. That's it. So there you go. And don't forget, these Born Pretty Store water decals, these, this pattern was in the BPW11 set. This is the other set that these came with. There were four strips, these two, and then this pattern here. So thanks for watching, ladies. Please don't forget if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And we're all here to learn from each other and just see wonderful nail art to the best of our ability. So we will talk to you later and um, have a great day rest of your day Saturday and a marvelous Father's Day tomorrow. Bye ladies. Bye, bye.